Wickham Mechanic 2013 Mini Cooper here, 1.6 liter engine in it. Going over the process to be able to install your intake manifold. So say you needed to remove it for any um, work on it, or especially with the uh, water pump line that comes back through here to the thermostat, um, that's a plastic line that you may need to have um, removed this to replace that. So um, that's removed. The, um, the ports are cleaned and we're ready to put it back on. We have uh, all this electric that runs along the intake manifold. This goes to your throttle body and this one goes to a this connection here. No, actually, sorry. This one goes to the um, variable valve sensor. But a bunch of this wiring we will run on the, the manifold, intake manifold, before we put it down. These are some uh, connectors that connect one to the one sensor and one goes down to the bottom. This goes to the, the knock sensor on the side of the engine. So these, these two here will go to the side of the engine and this one actually is the one that connects to this. Right? And then we've got a couple over here too, but we don't connect all of those until we get it down in there. But we will route some of this on the intake manifold before we put it in there, make it a little bit easier for you. So we have our intake manifold, and this is what it um, looks like removed. We have an electric connection. It's one of these that connects to your um, is a purge valve so if you were needing to replace this purge valve and you can do this from down below you don't need to remove the whole unit um, squeeze this connector unhook that and then being able to rubber grommet the hold this on and undo the electric connection and this hose and then that way you can replace that purge valve this is where this goes but you got to make sure that it spins up like that and into that little nestled into this hole for when it gets in there but you don't want to put this on until you drop it down in the hole because it gets stuck on the fuel rail so we'll set that aside um, also changed out these gaskets with new ones um, you can get away with reusing the old ones because these are just a rubber gasket but if you're taking it off these are very cheap just go ahead and replace them so, that being said, we're ready to start working the electric lines here. And the main thing is, is that these lines come up right here through this hole here. And then that way they clip on and are out of the way of other components. So we'll work that. So, I'm going to move this this way, and then being able to pull the electric line up through here. And the reason we have all the slack is because the, it all gets eaten up over here um, on that. But we're able to bring it up, put the one clip in there, and then that way we can connect the uh, throttle body connection and lock that into place. And... Then we have that one there locked in. And then this goes to the purge valve with the green. And they um, are all made that you can't interchange them um, very easily. So there's little grooves on the connection. So if you try to push one in, it won't go in if it's not supposed to be there. All right. So this one goes down to the um, side of the engine onto a uh, knock sensor and then we have this other wiring here the little wires that are going to come over this way and there is that tube down there and that's what these um, little clips will attach to and then this one comes into uh, this sensor on here and whatnot so we have that ready where we can start getting ready to lower this into place. 
one more of these connections here and now we'll be able to lower this into the place back through here we also continue to watch and make sure that we're not pinching those electrical lines anywhere okay So we have that down there in the hole there, and then we can go ahead and connect this. Um, like I said, this fuel rail holds it up. So if you took the fuel rail off, it would probably, you could potentially be a little easier, but then that's also more and more things you get need to replace if you need to do that. We line this up, press it until it locks, and then we're going to turn this up there we go. So it kind of wraps around in through the manifold here, and then this tube will come up and connect right here. So with that done, we can also, I'm going to, it's another one of those electric clips down here. Just gonna clip it so that it keeps the wires where they're supposed to be. Right. So now we raise this up, get it over the studs, and hold it all onto place. So now it's sitting there. I'm going to go down and do a visual of where my electric lines are from below to make sure that we're not going to pinch anything and that everything is routed where it needs to go. Um, we have this. There is an electric connection over here, which goes for uh, the map sensor. So I'm going to connect that. And then we have this connector here that goes into this um, device there so everything's looking pretty good there um, we have this one it's going to come over here it's going to go into this variable valve sensor and then this will go into your mass airflow sensor here this connects into here we're going to wait on that a little bit until we um, tighten the bolts that hold on our exhaust manifold. I'm going to just start one of these just a little bit so that it doesn't fall off when I'm double checking everything down at the bottom. Okay. Hold there, and I'm gonna go um, take a look at the bottom. So there was the, this tube, there's an electric connection that goes on it, and then a small electric connection, the connection for the knock sensor, and making sure that the wires are where they need to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that they are clear so that when we go ahead and tighten anything, we do not um, pinch the wires and smash them and then not have the proper torques that we need to. Now, this um, bolt here, you've seen that metal bracket on the bottom. This goes into the metal bracket, into the engine itself, to hold the bottom of the throttle, or the intake manifold on there. So, like I said, I'm gonna go down and uh, make those other connections and make sure everything's where it needs to be, and then we'll come back up and do the um, torque setup of 
torquing all these uh, intake manifold bolts. All right, got those uh, connections done down in the bottom. They were a little bit um, tight, but we were able to get it in there. So then um, we've got our bolts or our nuts that go up top here. And so there's going to be a total of five that go on all the studs up top here. And we're going to we torque them to um, 20 Newton meters. All right, in finishing up with our intake manifold and putting it on, we uh, have it all lined up, and now we are going to torque it to spec. And that is uh, 20 Newton meters. If you have the hexagonal bolts, um, be your standard nuts. If it's a bolt, those are at uh, 16 Newton meters. And we're going to start from the middle and then work our way out. This one is a little bit tight to get into due to the uh, this vacuum line.
Got those all torqued in, so everything's there. Now it's just a matter of um, connecting all the rest of the stuff back up. And we have this, uh, this electrical connection comes in here. And then shift this to the side. We have the down tube here. Comes from our throttle body, or starts with our throttle body and then goes into the air box. And there is a, um, a connection that goes down there, part of the vacuum line. That's going to be a, a bit tricky to uh, get on there for the location that it's at, but Matter of getting that to clamp around there, gonna push up from the bottom, get that locked in there, um, tighten the clamp here that goes to here, and then um, now you'll be ready to put your air box on, put your electric connection to your mass airflow sensor, and then run the rest of your tubing over here. You've got your air box and some tubing that comes over here. And that would be um, the finish up of you replacing your intake uh, manifold in case you need to replace that or remove it for um, work on the back of the vehicle. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.